We have returned with another cool strategy. This strategy is based on two indicators that are very easy to work with. You just need to adjust them correctly to easily provide you with entry points for trading. First, select your symbol and then set your time frame to 5 minutes, as this time frame is the best for day traders. Now go to the indicator tab and search for the fake out indicator. Adjust the settings as needed in the indicator settings to utilize it fully without getting confused. This indicator essentially identifies important pivot points and key support and resistance levels for us, which are crucial for our strategy. We have a resistance area on the chart indicated by this indicator. After the first candle crosses above this line, creating a bullish breakout, we can place buy orders and make good profits. Similarly, when candles cross our support area downwards, creating a bearish breakout, we can place sell orders and aim for good profits at these points. However, this strategy requires another indicator. Therefore, search for 200 EMA 3 plus 7 crossover in the indicator tab. After selecting it, we must go to the settings of this indicator and adjust its settings. So watch this section carefully because it's very important and we should not use the default settings of this indicator in this strategy. When you add this indicator to your chart, you will see two lines that are important to us, 45 EMA and 300 EMA. If 45 EMA is above 300 EMA and the price candles are above these two lines, it indicates an uptrend. Look for signals to enter buy trades. If 300 EMA is above 45 EMA and the price candles are below these two lines, it indicates a downtrend. Look for signals to enter sell trades. For entering trades, we need to follow certain rules and explanations. But before that, if you like working with the 200 EMA indicator, watch the provided video link for more details. Now, let's get back to our strategy. Starting with placing buy orders, look for an uptrend where 45 EMA is above 300 EMA and candles are above these two lines. Then we should wait for a bullish breakout where a resistance level is crossed upwards by a candle. If these conditions are met, we realize that it's a suitable entry point for a buy order and you can enter the trade. Remember to manage your risk by setting your stop loss slightly below the last swing low and for the take profit you can consider a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5 and wait for the trade to close with a profit. For placing sell orders, find a downtrend where price candles are below both EMA lines and 300 EMA is above 45 EMA, like these points. In this case, we should look for a point where our support level is crossed downwards by a candle to confirm a bearish breakout. So we have found the entry point for our sell order. We can enter the trade and find the last swing high for the stop loss and place the stop loss slightly above that.
And for the take profit, we can consider a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Now it's enough to wait until the trade is closed with profit. If you are still unsure about which strategy to use for your trades, I recommend watching this video. Goodbye until the next video.